take number 523. Welcome back to another Targus backpack review because I love Targus backpacks for some reason. I think it's because for the most part I like their designs. They build nice backpacks for good prices. Granted there are probably a thousand backpack manufacturers I haven't heard of so if you think uh, there's one that I should know about put it in the comments below. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Targus Voyager 2 backpack, the successor to the Voyager. This is one of Targus's largest backpacks. You can fit up to a 17.3 inch laptop. Uh, as you can see here, my 15.6 inch laptop fits quite swimmingly inside. So I would even venture to guess you could probably fit a little bit larger than a 17.3. Maybe some of those uh, gaming ones like uh, what are, like 18.4 inch gaming laptops could probably fit in here. Now don't, don't quote me on that. Let's start on the outside because that's a good place to start. You can see the front it looks pretty professional, sleek, not too obnoxious looking. Get some nice reflective details on the front here. Nice little handle here. Also has this neat little uh, reflective material patch right here that, that shines bright white when light is sh shown onto it at night. Um, it's similar to, uh, I think I have these, these, these jackets that, uh, I forget who makes them, Pro, Proviz, I think, has a similar jacket to this where the entire shell is, it just turns bright white at night when light's shown on it at a certain angle. I don't think you can see that on the video now. Mm. Anyways, it's, it's very similar to that type of material. And you also get a little, little hook down here for a bike light. The material of this backpack is really thick and really heavy duty stuff. I couldn't find what it was exactly, but it's really, Really some heavy duty, duty material, nylon material, which is a really nice thing to see for like a $110 backpack. Kind of see all the different materials they have. I, I don't think it's actual rip stop like right here. It's just kind of a pattern on there. But this bottom part, uh, this material is very similar to the material in this Targus Balance Eco Smart backpack, which you can find a review for that up there. Uh, and I've had this backpack for many years and it has stood up very well. No cracking, no no gouges or anything, a little bit of scuffs, but that's very normal. So I have high hopes for this bottom material being very strong and tough. It has two different water bottle holders, one here and one on this other side, symmetrical. And there's also a zippered pocket here, which I think their website said was for umbrellas, an umbrella, I guess, sure. Lots of side storage there. Going around to the back has a lot of padding on the back here. You can see it's the same design as what was on the, the Balance EcoSmart, uh, but there's a lot more padding in here. Really lustrous, fluffy padding, and uh, which is very needed because this is gonna be a heavy backpack once you have it all fully loaded with either you know, a big 17 inch workstation laptop or a big heavy duty gaming laptop. Padding in the shoulder straps is okay. Uh, I always liked backpacks that have a little bit more padding there but uh, they're nice and wide, so it shouldn't be too bad of a too bad of a fit. You can also see you got a nice sternum strap here, adjustable, and an adjustable waist strap as well as removable. There's these little Velcro doodities right here that you can just undo, and then the waist strap comes off. Oh, I got an overmolded handle up here, and that's about it for the exterior. Just a really clean, simple exterior. Now let's talk about this flap up here. So the flap does have a little, looks like a glasses holding area here with a little bit of a padded front to protect, but it's not, uh, it's not crush proof, so be careful what you put in there. But this flap has nice large buckles on the front, so you can easily undo the buckles even with gloves on, which is really nice. And this flap is really designed to kind of cover your main compartment zippers, just to give it a little bit added protection to the elements to prevent rain or snow or mud or whatever you you go through with this backpack inside. So that's a nice nice addition there. I don't know if it's completely waterproof, but I would say it would take quite a bit of rain to get through that for sure. Very front pocket here is very unique. It was on the very first Voyager backpack and now it made it to the Voyager 2. And that is an insulated pocket in the front for food. Keep things cold or keep things warm. I don't really know how popular of a feature that is, but I guess it had to have been fairly popular if they kept it on the Voyager 2. 
it's something I wouldn't personally use. I would have rather them invest the money that they invested into these materials to add a few other little things all over the backpack. But I don't know, you got a nice insulated pocket there if, if you bring a lot of cold or a lot of warm food with you wherever you go. All right. Ooh, let's talk about zippers while we're here. Very nice, smooth zippers. Uh, full, full metal pull tab with a uh, rubber overmold on half of it there. Uh, no brand name on the zippers, but nice and smooth. The zippers also have, they're, they're slightly shielded. They're not completely waterproof, but uh, I would say they're water resistant. Most of the zippers also do have this little ridge on the inside, which helps if uh, water does get in there, it doesn't get on your items right away. It requires quite a bit more water to uh, intrude through the, the zipper until it starts getting on your items. So the very first pocket is where all your office supplies go, pens, pencils, doodads, detachable key ring here. I wish they would have put a mesh pocket right here. That would have been nice for quick access and ease of visualness to your items. Otherwise you get a, a half depth pocket right here that's zippered as well as a full depth, depth, full depth, full depth, full depth access in the front here. Just like a, eh, it feels like a half an inch of bottom, bottom space there. Next pocket is your main compartment pocket where you'll store all your stuff. Oh, we're gonna have to go bazooka style here so you can see it all, maybe. You get two, two mesh pockets here with two folder slash paper document holders and those are full depth as well as about four to five inches of depth here or width here for books and, and notebooks and such. Should we, should we go bazooka? Kind of see. Uh, you can't really see down there, but lots of room to store all your books. And the next pocket is for your laptop. Now, kind of strange is there isn't a ridge on this zipper like all the other compartments, which is uh, doesn't make sense to me because this is the pocket you would want to protect the most from any sort of ingress of of elements and. They may or may not have done that on purpose, or maybe it's because this main flap is usually closed and that will protect protect it the most. But you know, then you have the side of the zippers are still uh, exposed. But they do have a solution to that, which we'll get to in just a little bit. Just a little little detail that I wish they would have added a little a little ridge there. But on the inside here, we can see got about you know, a quarter inch foam padding for the laptop compartment. And then there's also a little tablet section right there with a little soft touch side of it so it doesn't scratch your screen, which is nice. And then a little zipper pocket here about half depth, which is most likely for your battery or AC adapter. Nice thing about this laptop compartment is it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the bag. There's about an inch and a half of space there. So when you, you slam your backpack, down on the ground, it's not going to make contact with your laptop, which is a very nice feature. And a little Velcro strap here to prevent your laptop from flying out of your bag if it falls over or something. So that's just a quick overview of that. And the last feature I wanted to just bring up was an included waterproof cover, which is always a nice addition to bags. And that's right in the bottom here. So that will definitely solve all of your element ingress issues. Just put that waterproof cover on and you don't have to worry about your stuff getting wet. But it does have a lot of other built-in features that will help protect your gear and your documents from getting wet or muddy or snowed on. Anything else that I can think of? No, that's about it. That's just a quick overview of the Targus Voyager 2. Let me know in the comments if uh, there's another backpack that you think uh, does a better job than this one. I'd like to know about that. You can find this for about $110 online. I got this one on Amazon on sale for like, I think it was $89 and that was a couple months ago. Pretty affordable backpack for the size, for the, the durability, for the design, I love it. So you can check that out in the links in the description below. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Take 527. 
Welcome back to another Targus backpack review. 